Action. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, I have a video that um, is pretty distressing uh, given very recent events. So I just wanted to go over a couple of them for anybody who is as yet unaware or who didn't tie this into the consistent attacks on France and in France. So um, in Nice, uh, three people dead and one decapitated. That's on top of Samuel Paty, who was of course decapitated very recently um, in uh, retaliation or something like that for his showing of pictures and speaking of free speech. So the perpetrator of this knife attack, terror knife attack and decapitation uh, was shot and arrested by police after entering the Basilica of Notre Dame early this morning. So not a school, not a school yard or a public street, but an actual church. And you may remember uh, years ago a church in France being attacked and the priest being murdered and the nuns there also being attacked. And so it's not a new phenomenon. Three people have been killed and more injured in this knife attack. And this was in Nice. The perpetrator was shot and arrested by police after entering the Basilica of Notre Dame early in the morning and carrying out this attack. So France's anti-terror prosecutors have immediately opened a murder inquiry. And the incident is the latest, although we'll find out in a moment that there's another one since this uh, report. It's the latest in a string of terrorist tragedies to befall the southern French city. Emmanuel Macron, the French president, was on his way there as this report was being written. And Christian Estrosi, the city's mayor, said, we have two people killed inside the church and a third person whose life is in danger, who was in a bar facing the church where she had taken refuge. Uh, he says, enough is enough. We have to remove the Islamo-fascism from our country. And he later added, it seems that, according to the first findings of the police, the woman who was inside the church has been decapitated. Um, and for the other victims, we cannot say anything at the moment. Another foiled attack appears to have taken place in Avignon, several hours west of Nice, where a man wielding a knife was shot by the police. And Saudi media also reported that a man was arrested after attacking a guard at the French consulate in the city of Jeddah. It says here the Nice attack came on the heels of the beheading of a teacher, so Samuel Petit, in a suburb of Paris two weeks ago. That attack was in response to the teacher showing students uh, cartoons of Mohammed in civic lessons. Also, uh, it was the motivating factor in the Charlie Hebdo massacre of 2015. So we're now five years on from that and still the ramifications are being felt, although I would stress that nobody is suggesting that the Nice uh, victim of decapitation or the uh, other two congregationalists were in any way holding any cartoons at the time. So the other um, story that I wanted to just recount for you very quickly, because it's related, is um, a Greek Orthodox priest was shot and badly wounded um, at a church in the French city of Lyon by an assailant who then fled, a police source and witnesses said. There was no clear indication of a motive, although I'm, I'm pretty confident that I can imagine one. Um, in the hours after the attack, and officials gave no indication that it was terrorism related. Um, it's still a priest being shot in France. Let me just put that out there. Police and judicial sources said anti-terrorism prosecutors had not been brought in at that time. The priest was fired on twice at around 4 p.m as he was closing the church and he was being treated for life-threatening injuries, the police source said. Witnesses um, said the church in the centre of the city was Greek Orthodox. Another police source said the priest was of Greek nationality and had been able to tell emergency services as they arrived that he had not recognised his assailant. A Greek government official identified the priest as Nikolaos Kakavelakis. Uh, a suspect was arrested several hours later at a kebab shop in Lyon and placed in police custody the first police source said and there's no confirmation that the person was the suspected assailant however there should be an indication otherwise he shouldn't have been arrested obviously a source at the prosecutor's office said it had opened an investigation into attempted murder and the authorities said the motive for the attack was not immediately <laughs> clear the incident came two days after a man shouting Allahu Akbar uh, beheaded a woman and killed two other people in the story that I just re referenced initially so strangely that was left out of the first story that he was shouting you know, such a common slogan. Uh, and obviously prior to that, uh, Nick uh, Patey was killed. So what I'd like to say <laughs> about all of this is, um, for one, I, I don't really see any um, concern in that we get so very many people in via France and we get them in a, in a way that is illegal and, and pretty damaging to our already, um, you know, pretty unbalanced society that we have going on here. But what I would like to say is please do pray for France. Um, pray uh, that the 
results of her policies globally are not condemned and taken out on individual Christians because Christians are not setting policy for France. In fact, France is pretty famous for being secular and post-enlightenment. Um, but please do pray for Christians in all of these countries where um, attacks are going on. And that's pretty much consistently everywhere. France has been under it for years and years. And I'm going to stop now and say God bless and goodbye.